Hi, welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3. Venom Swords only. Uh, Warrior's Jacket only. We are here to do the return to Crookback Bog mission, mission with the Baron. Uh, oh, and I'm playing on Death March. And so, uh, let's go speak to the Baron and get this mission started. Leave a while ago, the hunters. Not, not so long past. Why the devil are they witch hunters here to start with? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blob tits, did they? I, I, I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt, good, you've arrived. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's bawling. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, my lord. Lass rode with them, asking after her mother, Constant. Lass? We must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. And that last, of course, is he's referring to is Tamara. And if you remember, when I went to Oxenford to find Tamara, I told her her mother was in the swamp. So that's why she's headed down there. But, I have also played this before where I do not even bother going to Oxenfurt to tell her that her mother is, is in the swamp and she still shows up for this battle uh, no matter what. So somehow she finds out regardless of whether Geralt tells her or not. Likely Anna agreed to stay with him. Care for him out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Always. Of course, there's some monsters on the way. There's some drowners in the, right here. And uh, eventually we're going to have a few more drowners and I think a water hag. The Baron's men really don't do very good against uh, monsters. I think these drowners killed like two or three of them already. So. Then we got some rot fiends and a water hag. The rot fiends are uh, are dead. Just a water hag left. All right, the village is right up here, or not the village, but the orphanage. And we can see the witch hunters are already here. Being attacked by drowners. Witcher, why are you here? Tell you later. Witcher, change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tomorrow. Dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. It seems like he might have changed a little bit. He stopped drinking, but it doesn't. It definitely doesn't excuse his, his wife, past behavior. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Verily, I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. 
crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! Gingerbread loaf, freshly baked and hot. Mother. Ah, hey. Clean as a whistle. Fresh as a daisy. Go on, whip me. I made it too little. I nibbled it, but just to see if it's firm. But it's fresh. So take pity. Oh, Mother. Take pity. But I pleaded. I begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. That. Wolves? This is the fiend that originally took Anna when she was escaping the Baron. And I'm going to take a uh, decoction that limits this one right here, Noon Wraith. It limits the like knockdown and blindness and a bunch of other Sound things. And the fiend has an attack that uh, sort of blinds you. Get ready. I don't know if it's technically blinding or what, but it stuns. It stuns you. And if you take this, uh, you'll be you'll be fine for the battle. First there's some noon ra uh, not noon race, but first there's some drowners to fight, so let's put some uh some necrophage oil on. definitely kill you in like two hits without your shield. Oh, so this is that attack it does where it stuns everyone. And I'm pretty sure I'm not stunned be because uh, I've got that decoction. Thank <laughs> you. 
a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Oh, Enough. what? <laughs> Who says it? I'm taking her away. Some random person just wife. died behind her. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick. Weakened. Where would you take her in this state, Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood bye. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell, it must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the Crone's village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I'm now a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenfurt. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him! You know what he did to her! He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties. To the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. I will not touch drink. I will find the Hermit, and once she is herself again, we will find you. Swear it. You have my word, child. Jesus Christ, they're gonna walk all the way back to Crow's Perch? Actually, maybe they can use that sign over there to fast travel. Made to kill monsters. It doesn't matter who posted the notice. The coin has to be right. That's all. Witchers don't debate. Their conscience plays no part. They just get on with it, then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet and set off on their way. Folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. Alright, so that's it for that. And I don't think we're gonna see the Baron or Anna again in the game. I'm not sure about Tamara. She stays here for a little bit, but I think if I leave and come back, her and all the witch hunters are gone. But uh, I actually haven't played the Blood and Wine DLC, so for all I know, some of them make an appearance in, uh, in that DLC. But I, I don't think in the base game we're going to see them again. And now that we've killed a fiend, we can make the fiend decoction, which lets you uh, carry a lot more weight if you are overburdened. I doubt we'll ever use it, but I'm going to make it just in case. You never know, we might need it at some point. 
And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, take it easy. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.